the cows, uh, especially in Bangladesh, which is more popular was uh, the Gujarati model, gear cows. And they requested somebody donated a gear bull, tall and well, good looking. And today morning, the Goshala Nepali team were controlling the Goshala. They gave them Katarnaki, Katarnaki, Katarnaki is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. <laughs> Is uh, Nepali people. Any human being goes near, he'll attack it. But he don't attack the cows. Then I said, they came only two days back. So you have to first allow them. To allow them is very, very important. And every time when you go, you, if we carry something, some food into them, and that's how they become very friendly. So we went, we started so we talking to them. And first we gave them a lot of food, and then we started talking. Talking, 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 and slowly he started climbing him and started giving his back so that we must have to. Prashanta Chandra Mahalonubis, born on 29 June 1893 in Kolkata, died on 28 June 1970 in Kolkata, was a renowned Indian scientist and applied statistician. He was popularly addressed as PC Mahalonubis. He is best remembered for the Mahalan of this distance, a statistical measure. He made pioneering studies in anthropometry in India. He founded the Indian Statistical Institute and contributed to the design of large scale sample surveys for which he designed a method known as fractile graphical analysis. He was honored with the Padma Bhushan, the second highest civilian honor of the government of India, for his contribution to science and services to the country. He is regarded as the father of statistical science in India, born and primarily educated at his native village in Munshiganj. Prashanta Chandra Mahalanopi said, A research journal serves that narrow border which separates the known from the unknown. A small gap. And to plug the loopholes of the gap, you have to research, you have to go and search of it, and you can connect it back. What is searching is what Ramana Murthy said, ask who am I. When you start asking who you are, you understand your partner. And when there is a problem with your wife or husband, with your partner, you have to just go and search. A little consciousness, a little bit of observation, and you can plug the loopholes. They say we have fever. If you take medicines, it goes off in one week. But if you don't take medicines, it goes off in seven days. Such is the beauty of this connecting link. You have to only sit, the both are the same. You rush up to the doctor, you go to the psychologist, you go and talk to 10 people that your wife has got a problem, husband got a problem. But the basic factor is. If you can go sit next to them, you can find out there was no gap. It is your mistaken identity. It is your suspicion that there was a gap. There was no gap. Like how I went and saw the gear bull. And I gave him a name also. Gear bull bull. Gear bull bull. And many times when I called gear bull bull, and he started looking, he started getting happy and I brought all the children. All together, there was no violence. He was not attacking us. The bull was not attacking us. Such is the research. A research journal serves the narrow borderland which separates the known from the unknown. You are thinking you are unknown. When I went to Vijay Malaya stud farm in Kunigal, Kunigal, Kunigal. Lakshmi English and team took me there because we wanted to go to the um, world's best uh, brick factory. It's called, uh, 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 what is this brick called? I forgot the brick name. There, okay, we went to that to buy the bricks. Uh, it was next to that uh, brick factory. Mm. And when there were many, many uh, race horses, and they are all been. Uh, shifted to this stud farm so that they can um, cross with the with the best uh, uh, to get the best 
uh, racing horses. Horolugu had a very good, the, the area was very beautifully done. And when we went near, everybody said, No, no, please be careful, please be careful. We cannot directly touch the horse. Before touching the horse, we had to just show our hand. And if it smells it, then you can touch it and you can pet you. Yes, yes. So there is the narrow mind, the borderline, the known and the unknown. You are going to a stranger unknown. Before you talk to the stranger, you have to give them something to start to talk. Yes. And then, you know, the known and the unknown, the unknown doesn't exist, it's truly really known. Suddenly it opens up. Many a time, many a time we went to many places, yes, and we found people who were not willing to sit with us for 10 minutes, sat with us for hours together. A research journal serves the narrow borderland which separates the known from the unknown. That is where they have separated, just a small separation. And today I got a call from one of my students telling there's a kidney stone. And the doctors are trying to tell that you might have to operate. And I told BM Manjula I had the same stones on the kidney. And then we said drink a lot of water, a barley water, and barley water melts it up. Yes, because why it is becoming stony? Because even your face looks stony. Because nobody is talking to you. When you talk, you can see there was a massage on the face and the stone melts it. Any human being, even the hardest nut, melts. And that is where they call it. And she said, my husband drinks a lot of water. But I said, you are drinking mineral water. I mean, you don't need minerals in your, in your body now. You have got enough of good, beautiful food. And it's very healthy food, which is called protein, and carbohydrates, everything. Why you need more minerals? Keep on drinking water. The minerals are going to be getting stuck up in your in the pipeline, and you are again going to block. So, mineral water you take and boil it for 20 minutes, and the minerals are out. You get distilled water, clean water to cleanse your internal parts. Do that. A research journal serves that narrow bo narrow borderline. It separates the known from the unknown. What is the known from the unknown? You got piles problem, you got constipation problem, all has got one connecting link. Before you go to sleep, take two slices of ripe papaya. And you can see it flushes that morning when you get a four to five glass of water. Papaya. I was in Japan, I was in Australia, I was in England. Everywhere I found people have got constipation problems. And there to get fresh papaya is very difficult because everything comes in, in the in the packed one. So I have to go search for the papaya. I asked them to take two slices of ripe papaya. It worked wonders. Just a borderland. Just a borderland. It is getting blocked. It will separate the known from the unknown. The unknown is nothing. You have you have to drink water. Don't drink water in between your meals. Make sure you have fruits before and not after. And people are thinking fruits, the skin, no, no, with the skin. My children even now eat banana with the banana peel. The mangoes, no, no, no. Keeping out the outer area with the banana, with the mangoes they eat. But I used to tell them that a lot of spray is going on in the market. So in our ashram, what is grown, it's organic, you could directly eat it up. Then, it is, otherwise you are taking only pure sugar. And that is going to create problem. Present the Chandra Mahalano visit a research journal. Researching is very, very important. If you have gone wrong in your examination, got less mark, just go back to research. And you can find the borderline which separates the known from the unknown. Just a little consciousness, a smallest line. And you have to only really plug the loopholes. Just put a little cement. Just put waterproof cement, it closes the gap. You don't have to uh, demolish the whole building and tell that the engineer who did it was wrong. No, no, no. Your studies are also like that. It's small and narrow. Your fight with your brother and sister, fight with your parents, fight with your family, with your uh, joint family in the family tree. It's only what Prasanna Chandra Mahalanobi said. A research journal serves that 
narrow borderline. A research is very important. The research comes only when you have a family and a joint family. And the family will be always doing research about your food habits, your health. Hence, I was insisting that a research journal serves the narrow borderline which separates the known from the unknown. The unknown is you go begging for a job, go begging for a uh, doctor, but a family tree will have that research done. You do not have to bother. You go there, they have all the records. Go back to your family, love your family, give a bear hug to your wife and husband and sit together, sit in the same plane, eat from the same plane, have baths together. Go for a walk together. Make a call to your joint family. Stabilize the joint family. That stops all your diseases. It becomes yin and yang. It separates the known and the unknown.